Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Michelle Watterson Gomez versus Jillian Robertson. This is damn near a lock for Robertson. Michelle Watterson, 18 wins, 12 losses. He's, she's 1-4 in, in her last 5 fights. 1-4 oh, in, er, in, in her last 5. 0-4 oh, in, in her last 4. Plus 165 underdog, 38 years old, 5-3 with a 62-inch reach. Fighting Jillian Robertson, who's 13-8, and 3-2 and in her last 5 fights, 3-1. In her last four, losing the decision against Tabitha Ritchie, who's just good defensively. Minus 200 favorite, 29 years old, 5'5", five five with a 63-inch reach, 2 inches in height, 1 inch in reach. I just think Robertson does well in this matchup. I don't think necessarily her striking is going to be all that, not necessarily uh, successful, but damaging. But I just think she's a better grappler. And I don't think Watterson is, is great, you know, on... on Paper, nine wins by submission, but she's also lost four times by submission. She's been finished three times in the UFC. She only has two submission wins in the UFC on a four-fight losing streak, which before that she was six and six and f two. Wow. No, six and four. Jesus, count, idiot. But, uh, yeah, I like Jillian, Jillian Robertson. I think she does very well. I just think it's a lot of control time, a lot of, um, um, uh, like, probably mount or side control. Her takedowns are decent against Watterson. She's going to be using a lot of footwork. I like Robertson. I think she gets it done. Subscribe, like, comment. Peace.